Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace a number of Muharra Governorate citizens within the framework of His Majesty the King's keenness to meet with citizens from various governorates of the kingdom. The citizens greeted His Majesty the King and expressed their deepest thanks and appreciation for the housing projects, educational facilities, health institutions and advanced services the governorate is witnessing thanks to His Majesty's directives. His Majesty the King welcomed the guests and noted that the kingdom has gone through and overcame many situations throughout its national history with the solidarity of its people. His Majesty hailed the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his leadership of Team Bahrain, highlighting the efforts of the medical caterers and staff. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the response of citizens and residents to the preventative and precautionary measures of the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus, which reflects the solidarity of the people of Bahrain through which remarkable successes have been achieved. His Majesty expressed pride in the role of the people of Bahrain in establishing the foundations of the comprehensive development and their contributions which are recognized with pride and appreciation in the history of the National Action March and their keenness to participate which affirms their loyalty to their country. His Majesty added that stemming from Bahrain's keenness to help the people of Afghanistan, the Kingdom has sent humanitarian aid shipments to them affirming his appreciation for the efforts of everyone, adding that Bahrain is always keen to spread goodwill in the world. His Majesty affirmed that holding such meetings is in line with Arab customs and authentic Bahraini values, which stress the importance of communication and preserving what brings the people of Bahrain together in terms of cohesion, solidarity and striving to serve the country and enhancing its development. Poet Fathiya Ajlan then recited a poem to His Majesty the King on the occasion. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to Fathiya Ajlan for the poem and the poems she has recited in many national occasions, wishing her success. The Muharraq governor conveyed the greetings and loyalty of the people of Muharraq to His Majesty the King. The citizens expressed appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty the King and affirmed that they follow the approach of the forefathers in loyalty to the homeland and its leadership praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty with health and happiness and progress and prosperity for the Kingdom during His Majesty's era. إلى قائد الوطن والمحبة سيدي صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الله يحفظه سيدي يا تاج هذا الوطن ينحني لك كل ما قلت السلام ينحني لك كل ما قلت السلام ويبدي وياك صبح ما ينام من هو علم هالوطن كل المحبة من هو علم هالوطن كل المحبة غيرك انت يا حمد يا حامي الدار بأمان منه علمنا وقال الحب وقفة منه علمنا وقال الحب وقفة يا حامي الدار بأمان منه علمنا وقال الحب وقفة في كل دار يا حمد يمشيد الفرحة لنا في كل دار سجلت الأيام عنك كل لفتة يوم أنا ناديت وترجيت يا كل الأنام أنت أول من فزع ومد إيده وطمنيت القلب هل خايف ونام انت سناد وذخر للوطن وانت شمعة دار تضويك الظلام انت شمعة دار تضويك الظلام وانت انت الوطن كله من بحوره وبره انت انت الوطن كله من بحوره وبره يا رفاع العز يا أغلى مكان يا رفاع العز يا أغلى مكان انت صوت الناس في كل المحرق غنوا وقالوا يا حمدنا يا ملكنا يا وطننا انت لي ناديت نلبي نداك انت لي ناديت نلبي نداك تفزع بقوة بطل واحنا معاك تفزع بقوة بطل واحنا معاك نادتك المحرق بشوق وفرح 
ونشرت أعلامها في كل دار كل ما ناديت يفزع لك وطن كل ما ناديت يفزع لك وطن كل شاعر وكل جندي وكل واحد هو فداك علميت الناس حب الأرض أهو كل أساس علميت الناس حب الأرض أهو كل أساس علميت الناس شمعنا الوطن هو سند عن كل ضياع هو سند عن كل ضياع هذا أنت يا حمد سد وذرة تحمي ناسك كل حين يا حمد يا نقش في وسط العمر أنت غنابك ونهتف كل حين نحبك والله نحبك والله نحبك وما يجادلنا في حبك أي كبير وأي صغير وهذا قائدنا البطل سلمان هذا قائدنا البطل سلمان لين اشتد موقف هون الموقف فلان وخطط الفكرة محارب وحاصر الموقف ونفذ كل قراراته بحكمة واتزان يا أبو عيسى الدول تحكي عن الحكمة معاك ذلليت كل الصعاب وانكتب اسمك على صفحة وطن عاش سلمان البطل عاش الوطن عاش قائدنا حمد عاش قائدنا حمد عاش من حب الوطن بلا عدد وأنا قلبي محرقي وروحي تطرد في الرفاع أنا قلبي محرقي وروحي تطرد في الرفاع وأنا والبحرين في حزة فرح ليتغنينا باسمك عاش من حب الوطن عاش قائدنا حمد عاش قائدنا حمد عاش قائدنا حمد وشكرا His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace Reverend Johnny Moore upon his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the guest and discussed with him various matters that are related to the culture of dialogue, coexistence and moderation. He praised the efforts of the Reverend in the fields of humanitarianism and peace. His Majesty expressed pride in the kingdom's deep-rooted history of coexistence and tolerance among various faiths as well as its culture of openness to the world and spirit of fraternity and peace based on respecting all people peoples and religions. He also affirmed that all citizens and residents receive equal services in various fields. For his part, the Reverend expressed appreciation for His Majesty's initiative to spread the principles of peace and goodwill among various faiths and the achievements of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in highlighting the civilized image of the kingdom of tolerance and coexistence among all. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Law Number 21 of 2021, amending some provisions of Law Number 19 of 2006 with regard to the regulation of the labour markets under the Decree Law Clause 1 of Paragraph A of Article 4 of Law 19 of 2006 shall be replaced by the following text: Implement the National Plan regarding the labour market, which includes the strategy and general policy concerning the employment of national and foreign workers. The Ministry in charge of Labour Affairs and the private sector shall, in coordination with the authority and after the approval of the cabinet, develop that plan taking into account the state's policies regarding the labour market as well as its economic and social development plans. The ministry shall prepare such a plan every four years or for a shorter period, if necessary. The plan shall be published in the official gazette. This plan may include setting a maximum limit for the total number of work permits issued by the authority during a specific period of time, whether in all work sectors or according 
to each profession or economic activity. Clause 1 of paragraph A of Article 7 and Clause 8 of paragraph A of Article 12 of Law 19, 2006 regarding shall be repealed. His Majesty the King also issued Decree Law Number 23 of 2021, amending some provisions of Law Number 37 of 2012, promulgating the Child Law. According to the Decree Law, the phrase Ministry of Education replaces the phrase Ministry of Human Rights and Social Development and the phrase Ministry of Education replaces the phrase Ministry of Human Rights and Social Development wherever they appear in Chapter 1 of Part 3 and Article 63 of the Child Law. The phrase Ministry of Education replaces the phrase Ministry of Human Rights and Social Development and the phrase of the Minister of Education replaces the phrase of the Minister of Human Rights and Social Development wherever they appear in Chapter 1 of Part 3 of the same law. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday attended the closing ceremony of the third edition of the Crown Prince Camel Festival, which was organized by the Saudi Camel Federation at the Taif Gunrit Camel Racing Field in Saudi Arabia. In a statement, His Highness underlined the distinguished historical relations of binding Bahrain and Saudi Arabia in various fields, thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia. His Highness indicated that the continued follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his support of camel racing contributed to achieving honorable results in regional forms. His Highness praised the great role played by the Saudi Crown Prince, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdaziz Al Saud in supporting heritage sports and preserve the historical heritage of the Arabian Gulf region. The winners were honored by Prince Khalid Al Faisal, the advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques and governor of Mecca region. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed received an award for his first place victory in the event's first round. His Highness pointed to the popularity of camel racing in the GCC and the consolidation of the Gulf heritage that unites all its people, praising the strong competition of camel owners that enhances the levels of this sport. His Highness praised the distinguished organization of this festival which made this race a success, wishing Saudi Arabia continued success and hosting various races. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi visited Barbar Primary Schools for Boys and Hura Secondary School for Girls, where he inspected the educational facilities and where congratulated students over the start of the new academic year. The ministry resumed in-class education in a number of schools in line with the Cabinet's directives to renovate them. The minister affirmed that this is a part of a 10-year plan that serves the needs of the government, which includes the development of schools and educational facilities at the cost of 131 million dinars. He said that this plan will extend until 2030 in order to offer a seat for all and to further develop education. The minister said that the ministry is keen on developing education through building an advanced infrastructure in partnership with the ministries of finance and works. The Kingdom of Bahrain condemned the launch of a drone by the terrorist Houthi militia towards the city of Khamis Mshid in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Foreign Affairs Ministry denounced the cowardly terrorist act targeting civilian facilities and objects, reiterating Bahrain's unequivocal support for Saudi Arabia in all the measures it takes to protect its security, stability and territorial integrity. It commended the efforts of the coalition forces to support the Jinmisi in Yemen, who were able to intercept and destroy the drone, urging the international community to condemn these heinous terrorist attacks, which contradict all international laws and threaten the security and stability of the region. 
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,155,692 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,096,582 had taken the second and 266,863 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 932 with 87 recoveries and 80 registered new cases. 33 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 37 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.